quiet. Need bigger rooms. been a busy morning we went to go drop off uh, baby girl w what are you signing for it's been a hard day for <laughs> it's just been a busy we went to drop off with paula my wife at the zoo because she's volunteering and then we came back did some work i uploaded yesterday's video um then we went back to go pick her up pick up some packages going home we rested i had to take a nap i just woke up from a nap and now we're gonna go grocery shopping. But there's some games that have been played, so let's talk about the games that have been played. Braves beat Cincinnati Reds. Um, Trevor Bauer will not move on in the playoffs. Um, our next commissioner is gonna have to wait another year to go to the playoffs. They were just not hitting. Cincinnati was not hitting. They didn't have any at bats, any good at bats. They didn't. They didn't score. They got shut out. Osuna and Duvall hit some bombs and just propel the Braves forward so Braves did what they got to do and Acuna Jr. is moving on in the playoffs Cherbauer deserved to go far in the playoffs man he just had such a great season Cy Young winner like I said yesterday I'm calling it future president I'm surprised the Braves won. They haven't been playing that good, but they got the talent for it, so. gonna go this offseason I would love to say that he goes to the Rangers um, but the Rangers are going young right now I don't think we're gonna be a contender for next year um, hopefully we can surprise some people but I don't think they're gonna be out there looking for a, a, a veteran pitcher like that um, by the way it's the next day fell asleep last night had some family time um, but back on the grind today let's talk about day three White Sox versus the Athletics the Athletics take the W and unfortunately the White Sox are out of the playoffs. And I say that because the White Sox have been entertaining. Anderson has been great. Luis Robert has just been a young stud. And I would have loved to see him go far just like um, Juan Soto did. Um, being so young and just so exciting in the playoffs. I would have loved to see that. Um, I was rooting for White Sox and Padres to go far in the playoffs. Just to make it more interesting. They bring just that vibe, that young vibe, that young power vibe to the playoffs and to the MLB. Sad to see them go so early, but they got a bright future and um, expect big things from them next year too. But the athletics, you know, it started off with Luis Robert um, hitting a blast. Number two, he drills one to left field and tosses the bat aside. My goodness, where will it land? Way up and out of here. A titanic home run from the rookie Luis Robert. Ending on a good note, hit a blast and then Eventually hitting like a, a two-run scoring double. Uh, no, it's a run scoring double. Um, and it was two to zero at that point. But the A's during this whole game, they were really, they were hitting hard. They were hitting good. Chicago White Sox pitching was just not there this series. Um, they had used a lot of their pitchers. They were running thin. And you can tell that the athletes were ready to explode. And eventually they did. But for example, they had bases loaded. And... They weren't able to score any runs from that, but eventually they did. They got six, White Sox got four. Um, like I said, Athletics surprised me. I didn't know they were going to be this good. I don't know how far they're going to go, but now they're going to go up against Houston. And there's some rivalry there, man. Um, of course, the snitch that told on Houston is on the Athletics. And Athletics and Houston have some history with um, benching clearing this season and just some drama going on. We'll see what kind of action we're going to see from that series. So stay tuned. We'll be talking about it on this channel. I'll bring you guys up to date on every single game that happens in there. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'll stay tuned with that drama. 
Let's talk about the two last games yesterday. The Marlins and Cubs got postponed. That one is today when I'm currently filming this this one, but uh, we'll talk about that one in tomorrow's video. You'll see, guys. It will be uploaded. Um, but today, Padres versus Cardinals. Padres, 11 to nine. They take the W, but it was an exciting game. It was Fernando Tatis Jr. becoming a man in the postseason. Um, he hits two homers. He's doing bat flips. He's staring down his seam like saying, I got you guys. I got ya. Don't forget Manny Machado who hits a home run right after him to tie the game. They were down. Oh. And that one's launched to left field. They go back to back. Padres have tied it with Tatis and Machado. And two guys. But they come back. And it was just exciting. Cardinals. You got to give it up to the Cardinals. They were putting up a fight. Molina is still young. I'm telling you, this kid is playing. He started off the scoring with an RBI single. And it's just, he's, for how old he is, he's playing really good. And that position he's playing, which is catcher, huff and tough on your body. And he's out here still throwing people out at third, throwing out people at second and hitting. Guy, guy's really good. One of the best catchers I've ever seen personally. And I don't know, maybe should I get his rookie card one of these days? PSA 10 rookie card? We'll see. We'll see. But that boy's going to be a, a Hall of Famer one day. The Padres are so exciting. And they're tied now. Uh, series is tied 1-1. One -one. Um, Padres were playing for their lives. They were trying to stay alive in the series. They do. They're playing again today for day four. We'll recap that video. We'll recap that game and talk about it. But... I'm expecting the Padres to win, but the Cardinals are not going to make this easy. Cardinals are playing good. They ain't they ain't going down without a fight. But Padres have an awesome lineup, if, and if they're on point, if they're doing what they got to do, they're going to go very far in this series like we've talked about. And I think I'm going to go root for the Padres, man. Myers joins the party with hitting two home runs this game, too. Joining Tatis in the two home run club in one game for these playoffs. It was a great game, exciting. It was trending on Twitter. Um, and I can't wait to see what game three is going to be. It's going to be a, a great game. I truly believe that. Dodgers and Brewers. Um, this one is lopsided. Like we've been talking about, um, game one was just, they, they were destroyed. And game two, they got destroyed again. The Brewers put up a big old donut. A zero. And the Dodgers take the win. Kershaw versus Woodruff was a great matchup. It was, they were going back and forth, striking each other's out, each other's teams out until the fifth inning where the Dodgers score some runs. Woodruff gets pissed. He didn't get some calls. He he eventually gets taken out by his coach, but on his way out, he's talking to the umpire and uh, he gets thrown out. Didn't matter. It was the last game of the season eventually. So um, Woodruff had a great season. Uh, I do have his rookie card. I got it. Um, I pulled it from a pack, and uh, I might get it graded. I don't know, but we'll see. I think he's gonna get. He's gonna be a great pitcher next year too. So, uh, I, I don't. I think he has a bright future in front of him. But um, he was a bit. He was pissed. He didn't get some help from his infield either. A first baseman didn't air made an error where it cost him um, some runs. I'm sure. I know that feeling, bro. Trust me. I've. These past couple games I've played, I've made some errors I, I am not proud of, and that may have led to my team losing. But we're going to still come, keep coming back. That's baseball. You keep coming back. You get better. You learn from your errors, and you just work hard. And that's what I'm doing. It's just playing shortstop is not easy, guys. It's not. Not when you're not that athletic like me. But Kershaw gets his 12Ks, and... Just looks like regular season Kershaw. We all know he hasn't had very much luck in the playoffs. Thank you, Houston Astros, for emphasizing that. Destroying him when y'all were cheating. Stop talking to Houston Astros and just be quiet. Let your play talk, not... What are you going to say now? But yeah, four games yesterday. Cubs and Marlins worship rescheduled. And we'll see what happens today. Thank you guys for coming back and keep checking these videos out. We're going to put out a video every day. They have a playoff game and... Gonna continue till the World Series. Talk about each game. Talk about what happened. Also, there was some. You know, it's gonna be vlog style. We're not always just gonna be sitting here. We're gonna be talking wherever I am because I do work. I do have a day job. I can't watch these games live. I gotta go back and watch the recap on some of them. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna be shooting this all over. But usually it's gonna be here where we can have a good conversation. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Posted tomorrow. Peace. Fernando Tatis Jr., mira. 
sigue siendo lo que tú haces, porque el béisbol nunca más ha sido más divertido que ahorita. Tira ese bate todo lo que tú quieras, tienes mi permiso, yo te digo, alguien tiene un problema, me lo mandas a mí, ¿ok? Ahí ya está. Nos vamos, papi.